Hey guys, welcome to Guitar by the Glass. Today I'm just going to go over quickly how to read a chord chart, one of my chord charts, which is very similar to everyone else's chord charts, and how to read a strumming pattern, and how to read a chord. First thing I'll show you is that last thing, how to read a chord. Here's one, the C chord. Now, the top of the, of the, the first top line up here, that is the nut that you see right here. Okay, so it's actually upwards. Um, the, this side over here is this string, the top string. And this side over here, that's the tiny string. So the right side is the tiny string. The numbers that you see are finger numbers. So let's go over this C chord and play it together. So the first string on the very right, I like to start from the right and go left. So from the very right, it's open. There's nothing on that string, but we play it. The second string, finger one on the first fret. Third string, open. Fourth string, second finger, second fret. Fifth string, third finger. Now the top string, you'll notice there's an X there. It means don't play that string. Do your best not to play it. I always use my thumb and I put my thumb just resting on that string and it won't play it. There you go. All right, that's how to play a C chord. Okay, um, now to get to a strumming pattern, catch the wind is in six, eight time, which means you count the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I put it in three, four time. One, two, three, one, two, three, just so that my strumming pattern is shorter. So if you look at this strumming pattern, we'll stay on the C chord. You see it goes one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. That's where the arrows are. So you've got to just strum one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. And that's it. For every chord you see in Catch the Wind, you're going to play one of those. So um, you'll see on the. Um, on the chord chart, it says Catch the Wind by Donovan with a three in parenthesis. A three to me uh, means put the capo on the third fret. I'm not gonna do that just in case you don't have a capo, okay? Um, by the way, that three on the that three in the parenthesis is something I do. I don't think anyone else does that. I don't like writing capo one third because it takes up space. So I just put parenthesis three. I think that's pretty good. Alright. So so let's look at that intro. Hold down our C chord and start strumming. The first C. One, two, and three, and. And then there's a slash after the C. That means repeat the last chord. One, two, and three, and. Now we go to an F chord. One, two, and three, and. And then to the G. And then back to C. So let's do that all together. You ready? That whole intro. One, two, three, four, two, three. C. And again. F. G. C. F. C. Okay, now for the verse. You have to know how the song, you have to have heard the song before because now when I write the chords in the words, I don't write a chord for every strum because it would take way too much space up. You just have to know that in that first verse, for instance, where it goes in the chilly hours and minutes, you just have to know that you have to play the C twice and the F twice. Okay? Um, I think that makes sense. You don't just play the C and the F once, like one, two, and three, and one. It doesn't go like that. It goes in the chilly hours and minutes. All right, so let's play that first verse together. One, two, three, four, two, three. No, sorry, one, two, three, four. In the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty. 
Now, if we go down a couple of verses, you'll see it says C, walk up. That's a note to me. It's not a, it's not a word in the song. It means I do a little walk up. C, E, D, E. You're not expected to know that, by the way. Don't feel bad if you don't know it. Um, you will learn that, though. A lot of songs walk up and down. Walk down, walk up. This one just goes... Alright, so getting into this bridge where it goes We see D7 slash F sharp What that means is you play a D7 chord which is like this but you play an F sharp for your root note which is up here And then you play G. And then you play G with the root note of E. G with the root note of F. Then G with the root note of E. You're not expected to know all of these chords. Um, you learn chords as you need them for each song. Don't feel intimidated if you see a chord that's in a song that you don't know what it is, okay? You, you just can't be expected to know everything. So what I would do is write you know look on google find out how to play the chord that you're unsure of and just write it at the bottom of your sheet so that for that song you know them chords learn per song okay don't just learn all the theory if it doesn't apply to you just learn what does apply to you all right silly um let's just do that one last uh bridge again one two three four f e minor Now follow with me where it says solo over so that we can play some strumming together. I'm gonna to speed it up. One, two, three, four, two, three, C. Repeat, F, repeat. I hope that helped in how to follow a chord chart. All of these resources are on my website, guitarbytheglass.com. Email me if you have any questions. Blah, 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 blah.